Hello friends, welcome to another episode of my talks. Uh, these ones are about sleep and last time we talked about cardiovascular disease and sleep. This time we're going to talk about the immune system, cancer and sleep. And the reason why I included immune system and cancer together is because they're quite related. So to begin, cytokines uh, have an effect on the hypothalamus, which then uh, mediates sleep. So the more cytokines we have, the more likely we are to feel sleepy and to sleep. And this is an excellent safety mechanism for when we're sick because cytokines are raised, as everyone knows, when you're sick. And as everyone has experienced, you find yourself more sleepy when you are sick. Um, the cytokines in particular that do this include IL-6, particularly IL-1, as well as TNF-alpha. TNF um, now, what happens to people that are chronically deprived of sleep is that they experience chronic states of pro-inflammatory cytokine, cytokines. Now, while we want acute states of pro-inflammatory cytokines, like one of the reasons we go to the sauna is to do that, we don't want this chronically. Having it chronically leads to many kinds of diseases, including, for example, you may find that when you're underslept, if you have a bad joint, it'll hurt you more. And this is because of that higher level of inflammation and cytokine prevalence in the body. Now, when people are re uh, restricted to only four hours of sleep for, for just one night, they find that their natural killer cells, which are the elite cancer killing cells in the body, are reduced by, um, not by, but reduced to 72% of the mean, which means you have about a 28% reduction in your natural killer cells, which are, as I said, the most important cells that you rely on to deal with cancer cells. Sleeping less than six hours is, is associated with a four times increased uh, rate of getting the common cold. I and mean, that's a dramatic, 400% more chance of getting the common cold. So you can only imagine how that affects cancer, since we rely on our immune system mainly to deal with cancer. Sleeping less than six hours a night for the week before a flu shot tremendously reduces the uh, antibody response that your body experiences from the flu shot. In fact, it reduces by about 50%. So you can see how critical sleep is for the immune system's response. And it's both sides of sleep too. It's not just non-REM sleep, deep sleep, and non-REM sleep, but also REM sleep. So now let's talk about cancer. As you guys may have known from our Q&A episodes, the World Health Organization uh, has categorized nighttime shift work as a probable carcinogen. Uh, that's how serious the data is about cancer and sleep. It's shown that people who are chronically underslept are much more likely to develop breast, uh, prostate and uh, gastrointestinal cancers. In fact, we know for sure that uh, chronically underslept people have downregulation of macrophage M1 cells, which is very concerning. Now in mice, because you cannot make humans sleep less uh, that dramatically because of the dangers associated with it, but sleep deprived mice uh, experience a 200% increase in uh, both the speed and the size of cancer cell growth. Um, relative to a well-rested group. Cancers in sleep-deprived mice also metastasized much quicker than uh, cancers in well-rested mice, which is very concerning because metastasization, which is the spread of cancer to other organ tissue, to other tissues in the body, is one of the most difficult things that oncologists uh, in the modern world deal with. Um, really, you, you've heard before that if someone has a cancer and it hasn't spread, they're, they're, you know, they're lucky. Uh, well, not sleeping will cause mice to have cancers that spread. And we can imagine it may do the same for humans. The theoretical causes for why sleep affects cancer so much are twofold. As we mentioned earlier, sleep really affects sleep quality, duration, and the kind of sleep really affects the, the body's immune system. And the immune system is our main front line for our defense against cancer. But the other way is because when you're underslept, you tend to develop what's called hypercortisolemia, which is having too much cortisol in your body. And this leads to having hyperinsulinemia, which is having higher rates of insulin in the body. And as you guys may know from my earlier talks, insulin, as well as insulin-like growth factor, but insulin as well by itself, is uh, very promoting to cancer cell growth, which is one of the reasons some cancers respond very well to uh, diets that reduce insulin activity in the body. So thank you guys for listening. And what you need to take away from this is that you rely on your sleep for your immune system's function and you rely on your sleep as your natural defense system toward cancer cell growth and proliferation. Uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe and enable notifications and visit my website at leonlongevity.com. Thank you so much for, for listening.